Hi there YouTube and welcome to another video from JJ Model Making. So the USS Coronado, this is the 1 to 350 scale trumpeter kit of the Independence class Victoria warship from the modern US Navy. But before I get too far along, I'd like to do a dedication shout out to Brad from Brad Hair Productions. If you watch any model making on YouTube then odds are you've at least watched some of his videos, or at least stared open mouth at the contents of his model arc. But Brad, this one's for you mate. And if you haven't seen any of his videos, well I've added a link to his channel in the description below. Well, on with the build. This is a 1 to 350 kit, so in scale with other modern ship kits. And for me, the same scale as my Enterprise, Bismarck and New Jersey, to name but a few. As a starter kit in this scale, you could honestly do a lot, lot worse. The kit built up pretty quickly, if I'm honest, to the point where I had to make myself slow down. But the fun and interesting bit is the inclusion of all the photo etch. There's honestly loads of it. Mostly railings and nettings around the flight deck, but it all comes together really well. The photo etch is a nicer kind, with tiny weak points meaning you can bend it in the right way in the right places. A little dab of super glue, in this case from Gorilla, and away you go. Once this was all done, I left the model for a few weeks while I was away on holiday, but went back, sprayed the entire model with Vallejo Black Primer and left it out for another week or so to cure. Next I masked off the hull, all three parts of it being a trimarang, and sprayed the entire model with thin coats of Tamiya Sky Grey, building up the colour until I was happy with it. Lastly I hand painted the various windows with Tamiya Clear Green. Once this had cured, I sprayed the entire model with a coat of gloss varnish so I could make a start on the decals. There aren't too many of them with this kit, mostly registration marks for the bow and the stern, and the biggest and most difficult decal was the markings for the flight deck. On the decal sheet, this is a single piece and not being a decal superman, I opted to use a very sharp scalpel to cut the decal into easier to manage sections and then spent an hour or so getting all the pieces lined up and into place. Then, using plenty of microsol and set along the way, was really happy with the result. As the Coronado has a flight deck, the kit comes with parts for a basic helicopter and also a small helicopter type drone. From the aftermarket aircraft set I bought for the USS New York model, I had a few going spare, so decided against equipping it with a Seahawk helicopter from White Ensign Models, pictured here, I decided to go with an Osprey instead. Maybe not factually accurate, but it does look a hell of a lot cooler. Fast forward a few weeks and the radar domes have now painted flat white and another coat of varnish has been applied. To give the model a worn in look, I used Vallejo Dark Wash to cover the detail on the raised areas and most importantly the flight deck, the idea being to represent all that aviation fuel and oil mixed in with the spray of the sea. Lastly, I couldn't help myself, so I got the USS New Jersey and New York models down from the shelves and had a little play with them on the desk, mostly to see how big the Coronado was to that big old battleship. Is the Coronado a small ship? Well yes, if you compare it to that warship from 60 years ago, but it was a different time back then. Compared with the New York, you can clearly see how ship design has changed with the 21st century. So there you have it, the 1 to 350 scale trumpeter USS Coronado build. Have you built one of these? Are you thinking about getting one now? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, this is just the start of the discussion so let me know in the comments below and if you've enjoyed this video, please support the channel by pressing that like button. And of course if you'd like to see more builds like this, please subscribe by clicking the channel logo. I've also started a new Facebook page and included a link below for a behind the scenes look at JJ model making.